Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am Chad from Chad DIY and today we are going to focus on the three main things you're going to need to know to go from beginner to pro with laser engraving. So let's get started. So the two machines I have in front of me now are the Xtel F1 and the Xtel F1 Ultra. Now the reason I'm kind of focused on machines, have these in front of me are these machines are primarily focused on engraving and they do that amazingly well. Now all the Xtel laser cutters are going to be able to engrave, cut, do all that. But these machines really are focused on the engraving aspect of it. And they're just kind of set up, uh, you don't have that big slide gantry that's going back and forth, that takes up time. These machines are super fast, super efficient, and do an amazing job at engraving. So that's the focus on them today. So with all that being said, we'll focus on my number one tip. Before you get started with these laser engravers, you're gonna to wanna to master material settings. Now material settings are gonna range from what material you're gonna use, obviously. You could have wood, you could have metal, a lot of powder coated metal that you wanna get that powder coating off for your engraving. So you're gonna have different settings for all those different materials. Now without the right settings, you're gonna have some issues. Now certain materials like a powder coated metal, in my experience, is a little bit more forgiving. You can kind of go a little higher um, wattage on that and you're going to probably get pretty good results. Things where you're going with wood or more uh, sensitive material, I guess, you're really going to want to fine tune those settings. So we're going to jump over in the software side of things and we're going to, I'm going to show you how easy Xtool makes it to dial in these settings right from the start. So let's do that. All right, so now we're over at the Xtool website, the easysetxtool.com uh, is where it is. And this is where you're gonna find all your material settings for your different machines. Now this feature of Xtool alone, I would say is definitely would, if you're looking at buying a, a laser cutter engraver, uh, this is such a huge plus for Xtool to kind of lead you in that direction. So what we have here is we have all the Xtool machines and it's as simple as clicking on the machine you wanna use. So we're kind of focusing on the F1, the F1 Ultra. Let's go to the F1 Ultra. So here you're, you're going to this uh, specific machine, 20 watt, and here are all the different materials that uh, you might be cutting or engraving. We're focusing on engraving today. So, and they have almost every material you can think of on here. You can also uh, kind of select by the type. So metal, wood, plastic, vinyl, goes on and on other. So let's just, uh, just for fun here, we'll focus on the metal. Let's say we're going to do a black metal dog, dog tag. So here are all the different uh, metals we can choose from. There's even frosted black metal, the kind of Stanley cups here. So we'll kind of scroll down and we can search for these, uh, these items as well, but right here. So that's exactly what I was looking for, a uh, black aluminum dog tag here. So we'll click on that and it's gonna bring you to, to all the settings for this uh, F1 Ultra machine. So let's go to the engrave. We're using, uh, plan on using a flat surface, the 20 watt. So these machines have two different type of lasers on them, the IR and the blue light. So it even, you can kind of choose between IR and blue light as well. But here you go, so we'll go to engrave and this is going to give you, it even has a, a, a sample card there. And so suggested power is 70, speed uh, 1,800 millimeters per second there. So really before, before this, you would have to do a ton of trial and error with material settings. And, and this is kind of hard to see. Like this, as I think I mentioned before, the black pop, uh, powder coating stuff. It's a little bit more forgiving. These don't look very different, but just for fun, let's go to a wood, um, wood example. And you can kind of see how different, uh, different settings really, really make a difference. So we'll just, uh, let's just go poplar plywood, pretty basic. And let's go engrave on there. And Blue light last surface. All right, so this just has this just has the power uh, 85 speed 300. So some of these are gonna have that actual card for you where it shows all the different ones. And when you when you kind of see that example, you can really see if you had this power too high or too low, 
what a, what a difference it makes. Um, so yeah, so Xtool will provide this material easy set library. It's really a game changer as far as being able to get going right away and um, being able to not have to mess around with those settings. So once you just uh, you decide what you're going to engrave, you can just go to this material uh, setting library and you're, you're good to go. All right, so now that we got our material settings all figured out, the next thing we can do is start engraving, right? Well, sort of. Uh, so if, let's see, use an example for this black business card. Now, we do know the settings for this business card. We're going to put it on the machine to engrave. But one of the big issues uh, you can have with engraving is keeping everything nice and square and lined up. So basically, Exco kind of provides these little corner clamps that you can install. You can kind of line up your... Uh, you screw it in, you line up your business card that way. Uh, kind of works all right for some, some things. This probably works better than others. But what I highly recommend for keeping everything aligned is different types of jigs. So these jigs are all 3D printed. The F1 regular jigs are really slick because the bottom of the F1 pops out and you can just uh, slap that jig right in there and it works really well. And the F1 Ultra 2, so we slide up this case. Uh, there's kind of different, if you can see that, different jigs for that. So you can align your jig and you can use these screws just to kind of screw it in place. And so now once you have your jigs in place, you're always going to know exactly where that card's going to go. All right, so we'll kind of do a close up of uh, with a jig or without a jig. So normally, so that what, with the F1 Ultra there, I'll kind of slide that jig out of the way. So say you want to engrave this dog tag thing. Well, you can kind of, kind of get it centered, kind of tr try to be as accurate as you can with it. Uh, and you can kind of get close, same with, the, same with the business card. Let's throw a, a pencil on there as well. I mean, you can kind of line it up with the screws a little bit, but it's really, really difficult to, to do. So let's compare that to using uh, this multi-jig. So we'll slide that multi-jig in place. We'll add the, we'll add the extra screw here. Alright, so that's in place. So that's going to be perfectly squared up. And so now when it comes to doing business cards, you just put that business card exactly in the slot, or if you want to do dog tags, you just put it right there. Uh, another kind of form of dog tag. So Really what you have here, there's kind of a little glare there, is you can lock this in place nice and tight and you're going to be able to just repeat it over and over without uh, having to worry about lining it up at all. The same with this F1, the regular F1. Here's another multi-jig, it's black, but it's kind of the same concept where you, you're you just going to be able to slide your business card in there, your dog tag, these pencils just perfectly fit in there and this perfectly fits in the machine so this one you do have to add a few screws uh, not a big deal at all but this one does uh, for the regular F1 to slide in there and yeah you can just uh, the repeatability effect is is pretty amazing and now one other so these are 3d printed jigs I do sell I'll provide the links on my Etsy site uh, if you want to pick one of those up that's much appreciated uh, I got them in some different colors so one other jig that Xtool does sell. This is really cool actually. And this is, so you can kind of, some really random shaped things that you want to engrave. It's, I don't know, you know, these, these metal kind of rods that stick down. So here's a putty knife. So if you want to engrave like the top of a putty knife, lock that in place. And I don't know, it's kind of dark if you can see. So really cool jig actually for kind of a lot of random size things that you want to do that aren't say that say a jig like uh, a jig like these where it's business cards kind of the standard stuff it works really well but any kind of random things like that uh, X tools provide a jig there uh, really cool I'll provide a link to this jig as as well so anyways with all that being said uh, if you want to do something over and over you really my recommendation is to get a get a jig like this and it's gonna make your life so much easier all right, so we got our material settings down, we got our jigs in place, and the third and final tip I have is software alignment. 
Now with software alignment, we're gonna jump back onto the computer and I'm gonna show you how to line everything up in the software on these jigs to get a perfect engraving every time. All right, and so now we're gonna kind of just wanna center up here and we can kind of do some framing. So the framing is gonna kind of illuminate on the, the thing or on the XLF one itself. No, it's hard to tell, but this thing is a little off center. So what I'm gonna do is just use my arrow keys and going the wrong way there. And as I'm doing this, that framing is adjusting on, on this little dog tag thing itself. So we'll kind of just get it all lined up. Simple as that. It seems a little big, so I'm going to just make it a little smaller. We'll line it up again in the framing. And it's kind of hard to see uh, that framing. And in person, you can see it just fine. But I'm just kind of using those arrow keys to get it exactly where, exactly where I want it. And once it's all squared away, we can do some engraving. I'll change the camera so you can kind of see a little better, and we'll go from there. All right, so now we have uh, the focus adjusted. Everything's lined up with the framing. We know what settings we're going to use. And we can go to process, and we can make our engraving, see how it turns out. All right, we'll hit start here on the computer. All right. All right. And there you go. Perfect engraving every time. And with the jig, if you wanted to do the other side, you just pop it right on the other side. Makes it super easy for rep repeatability there. And that's how you engrave. All right, so there you have it, my top three tips on how to laser engrave. If you have any questions at all on this video, please leave them in that comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you're in the market for a laser cutter, I highly recommend either one of these uh, x F1 or F1 Ultra. Uh, I'll provide the links to these machines. Uh, they're running a great sale right now. So uh, if you use those links, yeah, uh, I'll give you the best price on those machines as well. Really appreciate it. And if you do own these machines, uh, these jigs, uh, High quality, I use bamboo uh, 3D printers to make all these. I'll provide the link to my Etsy store. But uh, yeah, really good quality jigs. Highly recommend them. Really appreciate that as well. So as always, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and we'll see you on the next one.